be a community-driven process. Residents of South Sacramento gather to discuss potential plans for a 102-acre plot of land in the Meadowview area. The city of Sacramento bought the property from the federal government about a year ago, but there are questions about what will go there. Officials first said it would be used to help the homeless, but then the idea of a sports complex was floating around. It's absolutely the entire spectrum. My Vang represents this district on the city council. She's been holding listening sessions with residents over the last year to hear what the people want. Key findings from those sessions were put in this report presented at Wednesday night's meeting. We heard from our entire community about the need for affordable housing, uh, the need for recreational spaces for our young people and our seniors, um, and also the need to make sure that we support unhoused neighbors. It's required that 25% of the land be used for affordable housing and some say housing should be the focus. Uh, affordable housing, uh, market rate housing, uh, apartment houses, uh, individual homes. But others say a regional youth sports facility is what they want. That includes Mayor Daryl Steinberg, who has said that's been his big priority since last June. Imagine South Sacramento being the center of regional youth sports activity um, and, and state tournaments and national tournaments coming to South Sacramento. What a beautiful thing. This community deserves it. While many at the meeting tell KCRA 3 that they agree, some are worried. How is having that sports center there affecting the residents there? What is the noise level like? What is the traffic like? Nothing is set in stone yet, so the next steps involve sharing the findings in this report to the rest of the community. And my Vang is also creating a task force made up of residents to further discuss the options for that 102 acre area. Reporting in Sacramento, Orcomana KCRA 3 News. Another big question is how the future project will be paid for. The mayor told us tonight that the city expects between 60 and $75 million to be available through the tax on tourists, and that a lot of that will go toward the 102-acre project.